How we doing Fox? Night 23 So, wind's getting up again tonight But we're 23 nights in Well, I've not done 23 yet But we're on night 23 Got the same tent tonight uh, The crew are outdoors duo So Spent the night in this last night oh, I'll tell you it was a mains it, it was just, This is one of the warmest tents It's not a hot tent But it was just so, so comfy and warm and So, I'm going to keep, keep this one up for maybe the next two or three nights I'm just going to spend the next two or three nights in this, this particular tent But it's night 23 I was going to cook some tea uh, tonight But I've got to go, and, I've got to, before I basically climb into this to go to sleep I've got a couple of hangs on tonight So it's just going to be another wee kind of short video uh, yeah, I need to go and I just I've got things to do that I need to do tonight. But don't worry, I'll, I'll, I'll try and make it last. I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. Probably just me sitting in the tent, talking away. Uh, well, it's a, I was going to do a live again tonight, but there's something's come up that I need to go and do. So I can't do a live. But I don't know if you can kind of make out with the winds packing up again tonight. So. I don't know if it's quite, I don't think it's quite as windy as what it was the other night because it was blowing a gale the other night but it's definitely the wind's kind of packing up again basically packing up again, I'm sure it'll be fine so stay tuned, don't go away, night 23 so like I say, it's, uh, it's getting late tonight, so, uh, late, it's getting windier tonight but I just thought it's time for some tea, so what we got tonight <laughs> I've got a uh, Poison salmon with noodles. Mm. Right, so that's dinner tonight. Mm, that's pretty good, doesn't it? Time for a time for a taste test, I think. Poison, hoy, poison salmon noodles. And poison, you know, have that with duck, don't you? <laughs> I've just. Chucked out of my salmon. Not bad. Oh, it's quite nice actually. In fact, one thing I'm going to have to try and make a day uh, somebody gave me four pheasants, so I've never, uh, I've got to fish and things like that, but I've, I've never done, I've never ever I've even got a pheasant, even got a pheasant, but. So we shout out to Billy. Uh, he gave me the gave me the four pheasants. So I stuck them, cut the breasts out. So I've basically got eight pheasant breasts. And all the kind of giblets and the legs and that so. I've bagged all that up and froze it. But my plan is one night. I'm, I'm, I, I really, I'm dying to make a pheasant stew. So that's maybe the menu one night. We'll do that probably one of the weekend nights when I've got time. Reason being is that that'll take a wee bit of time to cook. And pheasant you've got to kind of cook for quite a while, so it's quite a kind of gamey bird. And then I, I saw somebody else actually commented about a couple of recipes. Oh, I can't remember who it was. It was a 
was one I quite liked, the sound of, it was like a pheasant with orange and something. So I'll maybe give that a bash in the Dutch oven. Whereas tonight, it's hoisin salmon. So later on, we'll do the usual brews. Hold on. But remember, folks, here's our cancer support. That's on the on, uh, Right one, 23, 23rd night, 23rd night, 23rd night, 23rd night, outside, in a tent, or a hammock. mechanic can't beat it. So we're now approaching, the last time I looked, in donations, uh, no fire off 1,500 pounds now. So it's going really, really well. But again, I want to try and raise as much as I can. So anybody that's not donated, if you've got any spare pennies, it'd be absolutely brilliant. As well as that, I don't know if anybody can share this. Tell your friends, tell your family, tell anybody you know what I'm doing. 40 nights, it's got to be worth, it's got to be worth a few more pennies, I think, for a great cause. When I say uh, when I say we're approaching fifteen hundred pounds, I've actually got some people have given me cash. Somebody else come in today, so I must have about hundred odd pounds in cash. Somebody messaged me last night, but I, I <coughs> feel I know that I've wasted in ages. He's pledged another forty quid, so for must be. A few folk have actually donated £40, so almost like a pound for every night. So I cannot thank folk enough for, for donating money. Uh, it really has, it's, it's kind of took me aback a wee bit. But again, it's all for a good cause and it'll hopefully we'll, we'll raise some good funds for these folk. And definitely here, uh, the wind's picked up again tonight. I'm hoping it's not as windy as what it was. Uh, is it Sunday night? Is it Storm Corey? That was wild. But tonight, we better, we better win, but it's not too bad. So, I'm going to babble on just now, so I'll switch off and I'll bring you back later on. Uh, maybe once I get a brew in that. You know what time it is? Brew time. Night 23, a brew. I haven't managed to not eat all these last night, I've no idea. So, again, the person who gave me these, thank you very much. You're an absolute star. Because you know how I love my chocolate. And the best it is, there's more chocolate to come as well. Mm. And the best it is, it's not even after eight yet. <laughs> but I couldn't wait till after eight. So, just eating them now. Well, eating what's left of them. But 23 nights in. I'll be honest, I think I've had the worst. Oh, one. Could be wrong. Could, 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 could pick up again tonight. But that storm, Corey. That was definitely the worst one. The storm, Malik. Storm, Malik, was in that. 
implementing Rob's on mod. Bob had to get a lot of folk. I think it depends where you are, doesn't it? Jobs are good and last two. You've got to love a bit of storm camping, don't you? Oh. Well, not everybody loves it. But I do love, I love going out camping in extreme weather. You've got a lot of folk. I'll be summer campers. Whereas, I do like, I do like going out when it's wild. Um, I wouldn't go anywhere uh, like daft, seeing wild weather, I wouldn't put myself into any situations. You do get the odd comment folk in the morning saying, ooh, uh, somebody might have to come out and rescue and things like that. I've been doing that for years and I've never got myself into a situation that I can't get out of. Right. I'm not one of these folk that's gonna go up the top of but go up the top of and rolling up here a flip flops. Right. And I've been out in snow, I've been out in wind, I've been out in rain, I've been out in, out in every kind of possible weather you can think of. I would rather go out in a windy, wet, cold, snowy night than what I would in the, the middle of summer when the midges are in force. Because there is nothing, there's nothing worse than midges. I think midges are worse than any kind of terrible extreme weather or cold, to be honest. Day. I'm just non stop. Still try to catch up. But I'm going to let that stop me because we've still got 17 days to do after tonight. Is that right? 23. Aye, 17 days still to do. So, really, it's just over two, two and a half weeks. Which actually, I think, well, I think the two and a half weeks is going to fly by like that. Because that whole first, <coughs> that whole first kind of stretch is, I mean, that's, that's it gone. Excuse me. Uh, got a lot of messages and things kind of for folks actually saying, like, are you still enjoying it? Have you, have you had enough of it? Have you? I just, I just love doing this. I love it. I just love getting out. I think I actually really will struggle to get back in, get back in the house. <laughs> in an actual bed, but that's a good few. That's a good two and a half weeks away yet. But no, I just, oh, I just, I just love it. This tent, though, I am liking this tent. I know I was in this tent uh, last night. But I'm going to spend the next tonight, tomorrow night, and I might even spend Friday night in this as well. Then Saturday, I'll hopefully, I think we'll have another guest uh, to, that's coming out with us. Uh, well, maybe, I don't know where I'm going to go yet. I dare say I'll either probably hit the Galloway Forest or I'll possibly might do a beach camp. I don't know, wait and see, wait and see. Although I did a beach, beach camp last weekend, so I might, I might go to a different location in the Galloway Forest this time. But who knows, who knows, a magical mystery to her.
Right, 23 folks, in the bag. Gonna go to sleep, up for work tomorrow. Smashing it folks, onwards tomorrow night to night 24. Right, I'm going to sleep, I'm knackered. So, night 24 in the bag folks. Fantastic. We'll catch you in the next one. Good night.